Hello everyone this is Dr Manoj and myself anatomy faculty today i am here to teach you neuroanatomy and we will start this neuroanatomy with the development of nervous system let's start development of nervous system with the topic neurulation this neurulation happens after gastrulation what do you mean by gastrulation gastrulation is nothing but formation of three germ layers that is ectoderm mesoderm and endoderm coming to neurulation what do you mean by neurulation neurulation is nothing but this is the formation of neural tube from where formation of neural tube from neural plate if we, if we take a picture as let's say this is the surface ectoderm if you see there is a elevated area on the surface ectoderm so this elevated area is nothing but this is called as the neural plate okay and just below the ectoderm what do you have you have mesoderm in this mesoderm exactly in the center you have a thing called as notochord because this is present in the center you can also call it as axis or you can also call it as axial mesoderm so whatever is on either sides of the mesoderm you can call them as para axial mesoderm okay so this can be called as para axial mesoderm so in the later stages what happens is this para axial mesoderm will grow up and it pushes the surface ectoderm you can see it in this picture see this is the para axial mesoderm this is the surface ectoderm which is pushed by para axial mesoderm from below so in this condition you have the notochord as it is in the center and you can see the para axial mesoderm which is pushing the surface ectoderm and now here these edges are called as neural folds okay and moving on to the next thing in the next stage what happens is see the para axial mesoderm still grows still grows above something like this and the above surface ectoderm will have a depression in the center and elevation on either side and these elevation are called as these are called as neural crusts okay this is the notochord and the part in between looks like a depression and this part is called as neural groove okay here the neural groove will eventually form into the neural groove will detach from the surface ectoderm this is the continuation of the surface ectoderm and the neural groove will form as neural tube below and coming to these neural crest cells here these are the neural crests right these neural crests will be detached and this will be forming on either sides of the neural tube so this is the neural tube and these are the neural crest cells and this all happens on the day of day 20th of intrauterine life okay this happens on day 28th intrauterine life and you can see here how neural crest cells are formed and how neural tube is formed and just below it you also have the notochord still present okay and in the future these neural crest cells neural crest cells will form the future pns that is the peripheral nervous system and coming to the neural tube it will form the cns okay and if we take a one more picture 
the neural tube if you are seeing in this axis it has two openings one opening is on the cranial end and the other opening is on the caudal end okay the cranial end has the cranial end is also called as anterior neuropore or you can also call it as rostral neuropore okay and coming to the caudal end the caudal end is also called as posterior neuropore or caudal neuropore the thing here is the, the importance of knowing this is see if this opening is not closed that you will call it as non fusion so if there is any non fusion of anterior neuropore this will result in anencephaly so basically when when does this fuse this will be fused on the day of 25th day if there is any non fusion of the uh, anterior neuropore that will result into anencephaly and coming to the caudal end this caudal end normally this fuses at on the day 28th okay if this results in non fusion this will result into rachiasis or there is case of spina bifida also okay for further details of anencephaly and rachiasis you can watch my next video on anencephaly and rachiasis thank you very much